Question 9a. Define standard cell potential. Okay, so is the potential difference between two half cells under standard condition? Part B. An electrochemical cell is set up to measure the inox cell of a cell consisting Fe3 and Fe2 half cell and the chlorine and chloride half cell. So this is a gas electrode. Okay, draw a label diagram for this uh, electrochemical cell. Uh, include all the necessary substance. Uh, it's not uh, necessary to state condition use. Okay, so um, you need to draw two half cell. One is the gas electrode, another one is the iron 3, iron 2 half cell. Okay, so for the gas electrode, you must put the, you must, of course, you must draw like this. Uh, the gas input, chlorine gas, 1 atm. Uh, this one, the electrode use must be the platinum plate. Okay, and the solution is the correct solution, 1 mole per dm cube. Okay, for the iron 3, iron 2 half cell, so you need to put the solutions, uh, 1 mole per dm cube each, and must use the platinum as well. And of course, you must uh, link these two half cell using the watt meter and the salt bridge. So this one is actually one mark. And of course, total marks is three marks. Huh? If you complete the whole thing, you get the full marks. Okay, part C. The cell reactions uh, for the electrochemical cell in B is shown. So uh, this one already telling us uh, the chlorine must reduce to chloride. So means the gas electrode must be the cathode. And this iron 2 and iron 3 half cell, it must be the anode because it's undergo oxidation from positive 2 to positive 3. And the E0 cell is 0 0.59 volt. Okay, calculate the delta G for this cell reaction. Uh, this one you must remember. Okay, this is the relation uh, between the Gibbs energies and the E0 cell. So delta G equal to negative N F E0 cell. In this reaction, we know that is involve two moles of electrons so means the n number will be two the f is the faraday constant 96500 so you just use the enox cells are given 0 0.59 substitute everything inside you get uh, 113870 i remember after you use this uh this equation so the units that you get is joule, joule per mole. Later, you have to divide this one by thousand, convert the joule to kilojoule. So at the end, you get negative one one four kilojoule per mole. Okay, part D. Another experiment is set up using the same electrochemical cell but different concentration for Fe two. So now the Fe two is no longer one mole per dm cube. Is become lower and the others concentration remain uh, uh, unchanged means uh, for the iron 3 is still one more per dm cube so now use the Nernst equation that given here calculate the E uh, uh, means the potential of the half cell not the standard potential but it's a potential of the half cell this Fe3 Fe2 half cell so we know that Oxidized species is Fe3, Fe3, and this one is one mole per dm cube. The reduced species is Fe2. So we substitute the concentration that given here. So it's one over zero point one five. Okay, and here is zero point zero five nine over z. The z in this half cell is one. So between the Fe3 and Fe2, it just involves one electrons, one more of electrons. So you just put one here. Okay, after you calculate, of course, you'd have to use the E0, right? So uh, at the end, for the, uh, the electropotential, 
you get 0.82 volt. This is just for the FE3, FE2 half sub. And after that, part two, use your uh, answer in D1 to calculate the E cell for this electrochemical sub. Uh, before you get the E cell, uh, you must get the the E naught uh, half cell for this uh, the chlorine electrode. So for this, we know that uh, from the equation, the chlorine is the cathode because it's uh, undergo reduction. So we know that E naught cell equal to the E cathode minus E anode. So therefore, in order to get this E cathode, so we use the E cell plus the E uh, E naught anode. So means this is the oxidation half cell. This is the uh, E naught cell. So you get 1.36 volt. So the chlorine half cell, the standard half cell, okay, is positive 1.36 volt. So substitute this uh, E naught uh, cell, uh, this half cell, to the calculation. So therefore, it's 1.36 minus the one that we calculated just now, part 1. 1.36 minus 0.82, you get 0.54 volt. Okay, so this one again is the, the chlorine half cell is the cathode and the iron 3, iron 2 half cell is the anode. So we use the cathode minus anode. The cathode, no change. So it's a standard potential of the chlorine electrode minus the potential of the iron 3, iron 2 that the concentration which is not standard right so now you get 0 0.54 volt okay that's all thank you